another few examples clinical before we go to anatomy. This is a patient with right ankle pain and on the bone scan there is a focal area of increased uptake in the posterior aspect of the tibia and the calcaneum. On the fused images there is a exophytic bone present in the talus and that is a classical uh, place where you get an ostrigonum. Again, uh, you need to differentiate ostrigonum with the uh, posterior tropic line. Another patient with uh, pain again in the foot, we did a two phase bone scan and it shows two focal areas of increased tracer uptake. But uh, without the hybrid imaging, we could have called this one is the uh, Achilles tendonitis, the second bit would have been plantar fasciitis. But what happens is there are a few bursae which is close to this area, which is a retrocalcaneal and a retroachilial bursas. In this case, the diagnosis was uh, plantar fasciitis with retroachilial bursitis. And Rizwan will talk about the bursas and uh, the changes which we see on the CT as well as on the MRI. Now, the patient with history of fall and severe pain in the right ankle joint. And in this case, there is a focal uptake exactly similar to what we saw previously, but it localizes to the Achilles tendon insertion. So it was called as Achilles tendon enterocopathy at that point. This is again a patient with a fall, heel pain, persistent pain. As you can see, there is an osteophyte as well as the site of uh, plantar fascia, focal uptake there, and it is uh, typical for plantar fasciitis on a bone scan. But if you want accurate localization, then the spec CT helps. But otherwise, this pattern can be easily diagnosed on a two-phase bone scan or even on a just a planar delayed image. Okay. Patient with uh, medial ankle pain, the question was whether posterior tibial dysfunction. And uh, what is interesting here is you are seeing the tarsal collision. But the question is, uh, this can be diagnosed even with a plain x-ray. But most of the times, the clinical question will be whether it's metabolically active or which site of the ankle joint is metabolically active. In this case, the focal uptake is more on the left side, though there is bilateral tarsal collision, the focal uptake is more on this side where the patient's pain is. And in fact, when, if you do a foot and ankle uh, spec CT, you find uh, tarsal collision in at least a half of the patients you scan. Unless you look for it, you're not going to find them and most of them are asymptomatic when they become symptomatic and they have to be managed appropriately. That's a classical area, but what happens is sometimes the focal uptake may be on the opposite side because the patient is putting quite a lot of biomechanical stress on the medial aspect rather than the lateral aspect. Then if you go just by the radiological imaging, you will make a misdiagnosis in this case because the, in this case what happened was the focal uptake on us on the medial aspect Therefore, all the patient required was a local steroid injection to the area and the patient became asymptomatic. But if you have gone just on the CT findings, the orthopod would have tried to treat this area, but not where the pain generator is. Now the patient, ankle fracture, fibula is clinically united, but the patient had uh, persistent pain. The, the question was whether there is any uh, malunion or non-union at the site of surgery, but in this case, if you can see that even on the three-phase bone scan, on the delayed images, there was nothing, there's no significant increased metabolic activity. The, uh, but on the tailless bone, there is uh, two lucency areas where the increased uptake corresponds to, that's a classical areas uh, of findings of osteochondral defects. Last of the examples is a patient with right foot pain and patient had a navicular, a navicular fusion and if you could see on these images, it is not fused completely. There is a breach there of the cortex with sclerosis and cortical irregularity. The focal uptake corresponds to the area. That is a classical finding for non-union in this patient which is the cause of pain.